everybody. We are going to do a Mississippi pot roast in the crock pot. <clears throat> and it's so easy that you guys out there can do it. There's only got like three or four ingredients. You're going to use these golden Greek pepper genies, I think. Is that pepperoncini? Peppers. You're going to pack of ranch salad dressing or seasoning mix. And a pack of this French au jour gravy mix and one chuck roast and i've had the uh oil uh getting hot over here and i'm fixing to sear that um pork roast or, i'm sorry chuck roast so it will hold all the seasons in there so let's see if i think this grease is i do about a probably about a minute minute and a half two minutes on pretty high <clears throat> and then we'll put it in there and we will add the seasonings and stuff in a second. I'll show you my secret way to add and pack it with seasonings. I mean, come on now. This is a Mississippi pot roast, but we're making it in Texas. I'm just turning it on its side to do the, the sides. Get one of one. All right, it's all seared and ready to add your next ingredients. All right, I put about I put about six to eight of these things on the side. I just line the side of it with it. makes a it makes its own gravy it's really good all right like I promised my secret way of adding packaged stuff you take scissors cut it open it and then you just slowly dump it in there like that now don't tell nobody about this because if, I, if you tell them, then it's not our secret no more. Same thing with the ranch. And we're going to uh, add one cup of water because it pretty much makes its own uh, juice or gravy. You don't want it to scorch till it starts making some gravy. And we'll put a little bit of, uh, well, that's, that's probably enough. There ain't much in there. Put a little bit of garlic. I can refill that. And now I'm gonna peel this onion real quick and Cut it up, put it in there, and then you put one stick of butter on top when we're done. So let me let me do this onion, and then I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. All right, I got the onions in there, and now I'm fixing to put the stick of butter <clears throat> on top. This is a, like I said, it's very easy, and it smells wonderful. When it's done. I just did that like that <coughs> and I dumped a little bit of that juice of those uh, peppers in here. So you just take it over and set it in. I 
I, I cook it on low and it's for eight hours. Oops. That's it. So you wives can show this to your husband who says they can't cook. And now they can. We'll see you back in eight hours. Been eight hours. We're gonna get this dude out and check it out. Smells really good. Smells divine. Hopefully it's nice and tender. Looks like it. Mm-hmm. While he's getting that out, look, we're having a a blizzard here in Texas that we're not used to. We're supposed to get down to one degree <laughs> tonight. Tomorrow night, minus six. Wind chill of minus 20. We're not used to that at all. Oh, that smells good. Very, very, very good. Make some, uh, we're gonna thicken this natural gravy with a little bit of cornstarch. We're gonna take a bit about uh, between a half and three quarters of a cup of cold water. Then we're gonna put a, two teaspoons, table, I'm sorry, tablespoons of cornstarch in here. Little handy dandy whisk. And if your your stuff's not still boiling over there, and you don't think it's hot enough to thicken, you you can put it on the stove, and it'll get it back to boiling. Okay, after we thicken that up a little bit, I'm gonna put that meat and all that stuff that I took out back in here. And uh, while we make the mashed potatoes, and now we got like a gravy with the meat to go on top of the mashed potatoes. You can make potatoes, mashed potatoes, or you can make rice. Today we're having rice, um, potatoes. Try this out. You guys at home, it's easy to do. If you like it, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.